everyone and welcome to my guide for leveling pictomancer or viper faster in dawn trail now it's just going to be a list of all the things that you can prepare before going into dawn trail or you know the things that you can do when early access launches so it's going to be a few segments the first one is going to be the things that you can do right now and we're going to start with that um first of all I need to get this back. I have, well, 30 quests, side quests done and ready to be, to be turned in. Um, one of them I'm still working on because I still have to unlock Eden all the way. But after that, it's going to be a side quest. Try to get them near the Eatrites. Because then way you can get them there faster. You can turn them in faster, which saves you time. So that's the first thing I did. The second thing I did, and that I did not know, is that I completed 16 leaf crests. They're ready to be turned in on the day of early access. Now, that's as far as the things that you can actually do at the beginning. The second thing we want to do, and right now I'm in the Crystarium, is go to this one. Hello. What they sell you, if you don't have them yet, is level 80 gear. The best gear you can get for either casting or Ninja. Because that's what they are doing. You know, Ninja has the same gear as Viper and vice versa. And Victimancer has the same gear as all the casters. So, with that said... There is one more thing I always do. One, clean out your inventory. I still have to clean out a few things, but still, it's better than it was before because it was all the way full. If you want, gather some crystals. If you're gonna do gathering and crafting, then sure. But that's just a side thing. Clean up your Chocobo saddlebag. And my Chocobo saddlebag is full of dice because that's what it is. Now, the second part that you want to do is next week. On Tuesday, the 18th, you want to go to Chloe in Idleshire. And we can luckily, I have not been here for a while. I think it was this way. I'm pretty sure it was this way. To Chloe and get your book. It's going to be good for two weeks. That means that you can do it on Friday and then on Friday, get another book they both are half a level so i would do that also if you use your second chances for the second week or on friday replenish them do trials mostly there are new people there they're easy most of the times and simple so that's at least what i would do and then there's the third segment and now we're getting into a little bit more so i'm gonna go to a little bit of a chill place to stand and explain all of this to you because this is going to be the big one or at least as big as it can get welcome to Alpus. okay so the challenge lock i'm gonna Increase a little bit. So, on Friday, or sorry, on Tuesday, the 25th, you can prepare the challenge log for Friday. So, what I'm about to do, what well, I'm gonna do on my Tuesday, if you have enough time. So, I made sure that, you know, um, I put a list with priorities. So, the first one I'm gonna do is do two dungeons to do the roulette. No, easy. Hopefully there's people there. Otherwise I'll ask my girlfriend to help or FC. You can always do that. Complete five dungeons. After doing these, you already did two. What you can do is do two more unsynced. Now do Armville as a tang, as a warrior. It's, it's, it took me like two to three minutes this morning. Just to test if that actually registers. And it did. Also, while you're doing these two duty roulette dungeons, give people accommodation. That way, you already have two of these. Then, complete three, two 
sorry, two guild hosts out of the tree. I might have pronounced that badly, but English is not my first language, so I hope that was okay. Um, complete two. That way you can doesn't complete one more on the 28th, and you can give two commendations, making it so that you have four out of five commendations. Don't give any more, otherwise that's gone. Um, for your information, um, doing the duty roulettes alone gives you 25% of a level, if I'm correct, at level 80. So these two alone on Friday will give you 25%. This one will give you 5%, which is fine. That's why we don't do the 10 one, because it gives the same amount. And this one will give you about 10%. So all in all, it's not bad. But the next one we're going to do is PvP. Just do four. You know, the other two that you can do if you want, the uh, other one you can do, you can do while queuing up for dungeons, for roulettes. While doing that, you can, you know, complete 10 fates if you want to. If that's something you want to do. It's 15%, so it's, it's worth doing. But that is totally up to you. If you don't want to do that, then don't. After that, um, on Tuesday, turn in four... Of these but do them with different leaf crest icons on the right and the top that way if you do this one this one this one and this one not that one we already have that one that one then you can get four more complete them don't turn them in and on friday deliver them it's easy um, so that's what I would do for the 25th, whatever you can muster on that day. Just keep that in mind. Um, on the early access day itself, unlock the job of your choice, which is kind of obvious, but still set up your hotbar. While setting up your hotbar, read your skills and actions while doing this. So you know what is what, what does what, what trends forms into what you don't know what they changed you know we'll see target practice on a dummy my preferred place for that and if it's gonna be busy after this video i know why is falcon's nest it's just i i like it i don't know why i like it but i just like it uh. also when you're buying gear because i forgot to mention this and you pre-order the game don't forget that you have these earrings. So you don't need earrings. Because you're going to get 30% extra XP. Till you're level 90. Yeah. Okay. So striking dummies. All there. Log out before the maintenance. In a place that is a sanctuary. How do you see that? The moon on the right of your XP bar. Why? Because of rested XP. And that gives you a lot of XP. So. With that. You equip that. You equip you have that you equip the necklace you use food because that gives you three percent as well even if it's craft of food um last this is the order i'm gonna do them in deliver the side quests and leave quests while queuing for a leveling roulette give someone in combination that way you did your side quests turn in leaf quests turn in and you did a commendation so you just did three challenges in one plus the leaf crest which makes four you can do one more fate so do you have the five then do you know queuing for a guild test while doing five fates more if you want um you can queue for either frontline msq trial normal rates whatever you like um if you can all do all this for the reset you can do it again um the thing is that, as far as I know, leveling and front lines are great for XP. I shouldn't take too long. Alliance Rage gives great XP, but depending on what you get and the people you get, it might take a long time. MSQ Roulette, in my eyes, worth it if the queue is not too long. 
If the queue is too long, do stuff like fades or maybe side quests. Or go level any way you want. That being Rika, Orthos, Bozier, Trust, whatever you like. Maybe you have friends that will help you get into the highest dungeon possible. Who knows? Or maybe you have like 3,000 gil, million gil. I, I do not. And a afford to buy a tank or something that will help you out. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I might have forgotten something here. And who knows? But if I forgot something, leave it in the comments. And maybe I'll add it. And tell me what you would do different. If you have anything you want to see in a video about Final Fantasy XIV, let me know in the comments and I can work on it before Darn Trail. Um, starting Darn Trail, I will level up Pictomancer, but maybe after that I am thinking about making guides or maybe just videos of the dungeons. So yeah, that's where it is. This was my first video about Final Fantasy. So if you liked it, leave a like. Maybe think about subscribing. Thank you for watching and see you later. Bye-bye.